I'm so glad to see you. Merry Christmas. Now, y'all watch it over there. It's real slippery, okay? I don't want to lose nobody over there. Hey, baby girl. All right, let's, let's read this. This is, this is the Bible in the New Testament from a book called Luke. All of this happened in Israel. Our faith, everything we believe about God really took place in Israel. Abraham and David and Moses and then Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree or a law that all the world should be taxed. And that's when you make it and they take it. In Israel and here. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was the governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee. Do you know Calen was in Israel in the summer and she was in Galilee? And where Jesus grew up was a place called Nazareth. And that's actually where she lived for almost three months in Nazareth. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Say Bethlehem. It means house of bread because he was of the lineage and house of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife. What that means is they weren't married yet. He had asked her, will you marry me? And she said, yes, they were engaged. And so it was that while they were there in Bethlehem, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. She was going to have her baby. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes. Now, what are swaddling clothes? Do you know that Jesus was born in a barn with animals? And it was like this right here, a feeding trough where the, where the animals would go and they would eat their food. It was just a little wooden thing and they would come eat. Well, somebody said, we, this isn't a nursery, so we, did, wasn't, we weren't waiting to have any babies here, so what are we going to do? And they said, well, we've got this feeding thing. Let's get some of the cloth that we put on the donkeys and the other animals to keep them warm. We'll take those blankets and we'll put it inside that feeding trough and we'll lay a baby there. It's not perfect, but it's the best we can do right now. And so they brought, she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, the animal clothes, and laid him in a feeding trough, a manger, because there was no room for him in the inn or the hotel. And there were in the same country shepherds. You know what shepherds are? What are they? They take care of sheep, don't they? I saw some sheep the other day close by here, not so far away. Abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, one angel, an angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were so afraid. The angels were afraid. They'd never seen an angel in the sky before. They'd never seen one walking around either. And the angel, the first thing he said was, don't be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, say joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, say Savior, because that means he saves us, who is Christ the Lord. Now he says, now I'm going to tell you something. You ain't going to believe this when I tell you, but this will be a sign unto you. You've never seen a baby born in a barn. You've never seen a baby born in a manger, in a feeding trough, with animal claws. I know it's strange, but this will be a sign to you. When you see the babe, babe wrapped in swaddling animal clothes and lying in a manger, you're going to say, what in the world? That's going to be how you know it's the right baby. There'll be a lot of other babies born tonight, but none of them will be laid in a manger. This will be a sign unto you. You shall find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly, the Bible says, the one angel who brought forth joy was surrounded by a whole bunch of angels. Now, what does that mean? 
If you're lonely and all by yourself and you want your life to change, if you'll start talking joy instead of talking sad and depressed all the time, eventually some other folks will want to hang around you. What this one angel was singing in the midnight dark sky was so powerful that the rest of the angels who were flying all over the place wanted to come and spend time with him. Wow. And so it said, suddenly there was with the one angel a a heavenly host or a whole bunch of angels who came and they began singing, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass when the angels were gone away from them back into heaven, the angels or the shepherds said to one another, hey, let's go and let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has talked about or made known unto us. And they came with haste. They hurried up and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger, just like the angel said. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told to them. In other words, they told everybody else about the child. And all they that heard it wondered at these things that were told to them by the shepherds. People were thinking, really? A baby? Are you telling the truth? Are you sure? But his mother, Mary, remembered all of this. She never forgot any of it. She kept these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God because when you get in the presence of Jesus, it'll always make you want to praise Him. And they left glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen and as was told by them, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You're so awesome. This is what you and I believe. We're Christian. We believe that we needed a savior, someone to save us. Like if you were in a fire in your house, you need a fireman to save you. Well, we were in trouble. And God sent his son to be my, to be your, to be our savior. 2,000 years ago, our Messiah, that's a big word, say Messiah. What it means is anointed one, appointed one. God said, I'm going to have a baby change everybody's life and what was the baby's name Jesus so tomorrow I hope you get some gifts that would be awesome but even more I hope you maybe find a way to give a gift to somebody that's even better man it it really is I, you know what I was doing a few minutes ago I was wrapping all my gifts I got everybody and I was putting all them gifts in bags with tissue paper I like to warm me out Tomorrow, when you are opening presents to you or you're giving a present to somebody else, find a place in your house, maybe on your couch, on a chair, go to your room somewhere, and just say this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you for coming up here and letting me read to you. Thank you for all the times you come to church and you worship and you sang so wonderful Sunday a couple of weeks ago when you were up here and you sang and you were so amazing and all the times you come and you go to class and you sing and you learn and you thank you thank you for my dancers in here thank you for my singers and all of you you're so amazing to me listen I'm your shepherd I'm your pastor and I love you with all my heart and I always will okay now get off my stage (laughs) I love you we're gonna give our money to Jesus in a few minutes